Lefty, we're being chased. I got you, Tony. He's wide open. I think you get caught in a storm in these hills, Tony. Well, they sure put a cramp in us getting Miss Betty Moore here and her boyfriend, young Chris. He hasn't peeked a word since they found him outside the cave. He was out cold when we picked him up. I can't figure out what happened to him. No, it's got us all guessing. Any word from Durand yet? The star blew the wires down. Yeah, I guess Lefty got through all right. This will end Tom Hood's interference with our plans for a while. Oh, it's Durand. Yeah? Hello. Yeah, Slater's here now. What? Well, what happened? All right, I'll tell him. Well, what's up? Lefty just crawled into Duran, half dead. We were chased by Collins and that dame, Kate Bland. The lightning struck the bridges that were crossing it, and they crashed through. Come to the point. What happened to Hood and the Moore girl? Well, Lefty said he and Tony crawled out from under the wreck. They were all shot to pieces when they headed for Duran's, and they saw Collins drive away with Hood and that Moore girl. Then they escaped. Dirk, Tom Hood is too smart for you. He succeeded in messing up our plans ever since he started on this hunt for the lost special and the shipping of gold for the Galconda mines. Now I'm going to stop him. That's easier said than done, Slater. Now, he's outsmarted us every time. And if you're not careful, he's likely to tumble to your part in this racket. Don't be a bigger fool than you are naturally, Dirk. I'm his father's partner. The lost special carried our gold. There isn't a chance of anybody suspecting that I was responsible for his disappearance. Maybe not. But you've got to be careful. Tom Hood's got his eyes wide open. And you can't fool him like you have his father. <laughs> no, you think not, eh? I sure know how to handle old man Hood all right. He hasn't the slightest suspicion. See, Dirk, that gives me an idea. The old man naturally doesn't know you're mixed up in this, does he? No. He only knows of me as Dane, a private detective. Good. Then we'll get young Hood through his father. Oh, yeah? Yes. Now listen. You will induce old man Hood to go to Duran's place, hold him prisoner, and then see that his son learns of it. See, that's a great idea, Slater. Seems that everything you kids attempt lately turns out disastrously. Well, I can't help feel that those crooks knew we were coming. And were hiding in the cave and ready to jump us. If that is so, it means we are on the right track. And they belong to the gang that stole the last special. How in thunder could they know that you were going there? 
How did they know you were making a shipment of gold? Oh, that's entirely different. There was a leak, Jim. In, uh... in my uncle's office. Isn't that what you were going to say, Mr. Hood? Well, there was a leak somewhere. It isn't likely that an entire train and crew could disappear with a shipment of gold without the railroad knowing something about it. Well, there is a leak somewhere, Dan. But I don't believe that Mr. Moore knows any more about it than you do. And what's more, Tom and I are going to stick to this thing until we find out just who is responsible for this leak. Yeah, most likely you'll find yourself uh, surrounded by flowers sent in by your friends. <laughs> All left. I mean exactly what I say. This is no kind of business for you to be risking your lives in. Supposing you had been killed when your car plunged into that castle. Well, now, Dad, you can't blame the crooks because lightning struck the bridge. No, that isn't the point. What do you think we have police for? Well, the police haven't accomplished anything as yet. And the insurance company is still holding up the payment of the insurance. That's right, Mr. Hood. You know, Tom has accomplished more than the police or the insurance company detectives so far. And now we have a clue to the hiding place of the gang. Haven't we, Tom? You have. When those crooks had us tied up in their car, we heard them mention a place. Tell me about it. Wait. There's young Hood's car. We'll wait here a few minutes, and then I'll go and see if the road's clear. You bet. I can't afford to meet young Hood and Collins. They'd recognize me in a minute and clear everything. So you think that the crooks were attempting to take you to some place in Sawtooth Range, eh? Well, I'm sure of it. Well, my advice to you is to, uh... turn this information over to the police and let them handle it. <laughs> not a chance, Dan. Indeed not. I'm going to get the story of that lost vessel for my paper, The Clarion. Nothing can stop me. There's Bob and Kate now. We'll have to hurry, Tom. <coughs> Bye, Mr. Hood. We're all going to my apartment to go into a long conference of deep deduction. Come along, Tom. So well, take care of yourself, folks. All right. Don't get in any more trouble. Try not to. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Miss Hutton. Yes, sir. Uh, did you send that letter to Horace Moore? Yes, I did. I'd like to have you take another one, please. Mr. Horace Moore, General Manager, State Specific Railroad. Dad. Sure is worried. We'll get him out of it, though. Come on, let's go. All right, Dirk. The road's clear. Uh, get those letters out as quick as you can, Miss Hutton, and that'll be all. Yes. Oh, Mr. Hood, you're not forgetting your appointment with your attorney this afternoon. Mm hmm? Well, that's right. I had forgotten it. Thanks, Miss Hutton. Oh. Anything new, Slater? I don't know. I had a message from one of our private detectives, that fellow, uh, Dane. It sounded urgent. He says he's coming here to see us. I didn't want to mention it before Tom and Miss Moore. No, that's right. I want to keep them out of this if I can. That's what I thought. And uh, Mr. Dane to see you, Mr. Hood. Oh, uh, send him in. Yes. I have a feeling he has some real news. Uh... Mr. Dane. Oh, come in, Mr. Dane. Mr. Dane, this is Mr. Hood. How are you? How you do? Sit down, Mr. Dane. Well? I got a tip on where to find your gold bullion. But we've got to work fast and get it while the gang are away. Well, why not notify the police at once? Nothing doing. I want the reward on this thing. I've located this stuff, and I'm not going to split with the police if I can help it. Now, the two of us can handle this without any trouble. If you follow my orders, only Duran and the watchman are at the place now. And we can get out there in no time in my car. It's a cinch. Uh, where is this place? Oh, out in the Sawtooth Rain. A sort of a deserted mansion. It isn't far from here. The Sawtooth Range, eh? Hmm. It sounds mighty interesting. You're right, Mr. Hood. It is interesting. And as Dane says, there's no time to lose. Well, the sooner we get started, the better. That's the ticket. 
We'll be back with the gold in no time. Ah. By thunder, this is one set. I'll have the lap on Tom. If he calls in, don't tell him anything about it. Come on, Dave. This old deserted mansion on the Sawtooth Range is the secret hiding place of this gang's loot. It shouldn't be hard to find if it's a mansion. The girls are right, Bob. We'll go there right away, you and I, and investigate. We'll go with you. Our presence there will make your appearance less suspicious. We can say the car broke down. All right, you win. Let's get going. Spark. Oh, just the loose wire from that last bump I hit. How far is it? Not much farther. That's just out of the bridge that was struck by lightning during that storm. Oh, yes. I heard about that bridge. Come on, hurry up, Spark. Let's get on the way. Okay, sir. All right. That'll fool them. You sure will. We're coming, boys. Get under cover, quick. Tree must have been blown down by the storm. Uh, how far is it to Doran's place? Can't we walk? It's too far to walk, sir. Well, we can... What do you men want? What's the meaning of this? We want you. That's all. We're going to get you. You come out of time. Hey. I got him, Chief. He'll be quiet for a while. Good. Bill, get this tree out of the way. We'll take come him over to the ranch place. Which one of these roads goes to the sawtooth, Bob? I'll take a chance on this one. Go ahead. Sure, go I'll ahead. Go on, hurry up. Hurry up, get him in the car. Say, that guy hood can sure suck. Well, that's what you get for leading with your chin. Come on, after you go with me. Upstairs. All right, boy. Chief said, take good care of it. Put him in the bridal chamber. <laughs> might be Duran's place. You folks wait here. I'm going to take a look up this road. There's a house up there that looks deserted, but we can't afford to pass it up. It might be Duran's place. Now listen, Betty, you and Kate were here at the car, and Bob now go on up and look the place over. Let Kate stay by the car. I'm going with you. You know, if you have a woman with you, you won't arouse suspicion. Besides, I can help you get inside the house. And that's what you want, isn't it? Yes, but you might get... No, but. Now, when we get in sight of the house, you and Bob can half carry me as though I'd sprained my ankle. And if there's anyone in the house, they won't suspect what we're after. I believe Betty's right, Tom. It'll give us a good alibi. Well, have it your own way. But I don't like the idea. Now, come on. Hopeless. Well, I guess that's Duran's place. Looks sinister enough to be most anything. 
All right, Betty. Here's where you sprain your ankle. Grab a hold of it, Tom. Come on. What do you want? Well, we're sorry to trouble you, but we had a smash-up down the road, and the young lady's foot was hurt. We thought you might let her come in and rest a while and let us phone for another car. Well, we haven't got a phone, but she can come in and rest a while. Well, thank you. Careful, Betty. Oh, my foot! Mm. Careful, Betty. with an accident. We thought maybe you'd uh, let us rest here for a few moments. Sure, let us sit down over there. Thanks. Maybe the lady would like a glass of water. Yes, I would, please. Get her a glass of water. Sure. Let's make yourself right to home. Thanks. Hat, Bob. I don't see that hat, Bob. Why don't Dad's hat? What was that? I don't know. But we'll find out. And when that fellow comes back with the water, we'll have to keep him from warning the others. All right. I'll phone you later. Well, they're all here, Dirk. Caught like rats in a trap. And the lady... Wants a glass of water. Great. <laughs> we couldn't have planned it any better. We've got them all. Now I'll phone Slater at the Red Lantern and tell him that Tom Hood, Collins, and the Moore girl are all here. He'll send Gavin and the bunch over at once. They'll go back in the room and hold them there. A glass of water. <laughs> uh, DuPont, 7705. Hello? Yes, speaking. What? Tell Duran to hold them there. Come in. Listen. Tom Hood, that fellow Collins, and the Moore girl are out at Duran's right now. Spike, you and Gavin, get out there at once. All right, Chief. Ready? 